We are in the middle of strawberry season here in Middle Georgia. It is looking good so far, but staff at Lane Southern Orchards in Peach County says there is something that could cause a problem before the season's over. Here's 41 NBC's Fiona King. Tyler Wainwright, the farm manager at Lane Southern Orchards, says the farm's goal is for each plant to produce about two and a half pounds of strawberries. He says they're on track to hit that target, but the process of getting them just right began back in the fall. We'll make the beds and plant them in October, and they'll start flowering around January. And we'll, you know, that's the time of year if you ride by and see the blankets and the tarps out, we just cover them up for the blooms. And, you know, once that plant has a, a bloom, it takes about 30, 35 days to become a strawberry. According to Rainwright, strawberry season starts at the end of March and lasts until the first week of June. But he says that depends on the weather. Mild springs, normal weather is good. If it gets above 90, you know, consecutive days in a row or for a couple of weeks, the strawberry plant will start shutting down. He adds a big storm could wipe out the entire crop. And if you're looking to pick that perfect strawberry, Rainwright shares some advice on what to look for. So it's all based on color. Normally the darker the red color, the more mature berry is. On the pink side is kind of that less sweet, but a, a nice traditional red strawberry means it's, it's ready. He says the shapes of the strawberries are also important. Shapes just depend on the weather. You know, it can be varied from anything from pollination to how warm it is when it grows to storms. So really when you pick, you know, focused on color and that's that'll let you know. And if you're hoping for some good peaches this summer, you're in luck. We have a great peach crop. It's, it's shaping up to be a right a full crop. So we're excited about that. The, the peaches are growing well. They've been pollinated. You know, some of them are bigger than golf balls now. In Fort Valley, Fiona King, 41, NBC News.